It sounds stupid saying it out loud, but this year I decided I wanted more adventure in my life. I I've got all these like big ideas of what I want my adventures to be, but so far most of them have just involved me jumping into water. After uh, the big New York City blizzard, I grabbed my crappy used cross-country skis and I went deep into Brooklyn's Prospect Park. At this one point when I stopped to catch my breath because I'm out of shape, I looked down and I saw this canister of 35mm film that someone must have lost. The park is like 500 acres and it's covered in snow. And this is a tiny white canister of film. No one's like ever going to find it if I just leave it behind. I decided I was going to find the owner. It'd be a new adventure. And what I got back was pretty amazing. Someone had traveled from Central Park to Brooklyn Bridge to Coney Island taking pictures of the blizzard. And the last few pictures were taken in Prospect Park, just a few yards from where I found the film canister. I'm not like a photography critic or anything like that, but these look pretty good. Uh, like, really good. There are a few pictures of the people that must have been taking these pictures. I'm trying to figure out something about them from the pictures. They don't look like New Yorkers. I'm guessing they're either from Holland, or they're Russian, or they're French, or they're from Belgium. They got this Europe look to them. They must be in America on holiday, which is a European word for vacation. I'm guessing this one is a reference to Catcher in the Rye, that, that part about the ducks in New York, because that metaphor translates to Russian. This one's clever, bump ahead. It's an understatement, look at all that snow. This one's arty, people in the snow, on the beach, with the fake palm tree. I like it. This is one of my favorites. But there's definitely some kind of deep meaning behind this one. A pigeon and a woman. Here they are, having a snowball fight. Honestly, this one's kind of mediocre, but you know, 1 in 40 is not a bad ratio. I like these people. I could see us being adventure buddies or something. So, something semi-related to this story happened to me a few months ago around Thanksgiving. A stranger, an old woman, she came up to me out of the blue and she took my hand and she gave me $26. She had found it on the street and she didn't feel right keeping it and she told me she wanted me to have it and to do something nice for myself with it. I told her I didn't want it, but she shoved it in my hand and walked away. It was weird. It's not often that I'm the victim of a random act of kindness. So he yelled to her as she was walking away, I was like, I'm going to do something good with this money. I won't spend it on myself. So for the last few months I've been trying to figure out what to do with this $26. I wanted to do something like good but adventurous with it. So I'm going to use the $26 to try and get the film back to my mysterious European friends. So what I'm hoping is like they somehow find this video and I hope we become friends. I hope I can visit them in Belgium or France or Russia or Holland or Minneapolis or wherever they're from and I can return their negatives. I wonder what they'll think of me when they find my video. Or maybe this will just get lost in a blizzard of YouTube videos. <laughs>